what is the most beautiful <laughs> in my eyes everything is beautiful <laughs> if you have a borrowed knowledge then you look through the prism of that knowledge to judge things then nothing is beautiful <laughs> beauty is just beautiful and the nature has created anything and everything is heavenly beautiful this sigmund freud said one day in retrospect the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful yes the struggle when you turn back to look yes that struggle which have gone through the sweat and the blood and every one pain of your leg your bones every one pain of eyes and the diseases illnesses all that you have overcome it looks so beautiful to turn back that's why none of the children who had really studied in a school from nursery to high school from kindergarten to high school when they go to the university they are gone they still think the school years were the most beautiful to look back most beautiful because they knew everybody <laughs> everybody including me suffered yes everybody oh so many seniors so many juniors and we are all looked upon and when you go to the college university you get students from so many different schools speaking different styles of languages and styles and characters and you get shocked maybe it's the same flow what you get it for 10 full years or 12 years or 13 years in the same institution that is mind boggling <laughs> recently um, air hostess uh, kusma came and said oh guruji please don't change this chair let it be exactly like that because in this class only i study in this same chair only so sometimes even to change the classrooms to upgrade the classrooms or the chairs seems to be a struggle or a painful for us because the children will lose that beauty one day in retrospect the years of struggle uh, sigmund freud used the term struggle there was no struggle the struggle came sigmund freud is because you were holding on to the english dictionary you were holding on to the broken family concept of the europe of the west otherwise there is no struggle <laughs> when you are in a family when you have a joint family and family tree in the west they broke the family and the joint family and the family tree so everything looks like a struggle and then children have been taught it's a struggle they are torturing you they are squeezing out if the doctors doesn't squeeze out the pus from the body how will the body become strong the last drop of the talent have been squeezed out and the children that this kind of a torture yes so sigmund freud used the term struggle the years of struggle strike you as, even the years of struggle will not strike you as the most beautiful if you are unconscious if you carrying out that that what you call the grudge that you you went through a pain they scolded you <laughs> in japan they say every child will not go home if the teacher has not given them one bang to the <laughs> yes one strike and it was the same with the kyokushin karate when the greatest masters of the dance sixteen seventh dan sit in the steps and cry because they grandmaster did not give them one hit on the bum <laughs> means he has not observed me <laughs> yes a hit observes and corrects it everybody looking for correction observation cor that was not struggle that was not painful yes the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful no it was not first of all it was not a struggle i tell you even if it is struggle you have to, if you are not if you are if you say it is struggle you are unconscious 
you are a bookish knowledge if you say it's a struggle you say they are torturing you they're squeezing me then you are not a karma yogi then you will live your total life throughout till the last drop of your uh, day of your last breath of your uh, on your deathbed also you will go with a painful heart because you have not enjoyed everything which can pay, came to you when pain comes <laughs> You have to taste it and say, I am enjoying that pain like how they take the pickle and say, ah, yes, not only all the sweet. Segment for it's a one day in retrospect to the struggle, the years of struggle strike you as the most beautiful. That first of all, avoid the term struggle and it will strike you as the most beautiful, yes. Turning back is one thing and every day is a beautiful thing. Every one moment. I had a kachua. In Canada they call it army. It's a tortoise. And she used to walk right to my room and I feed her. If I'm out, she goes and searches in all the rooms where I am. The moment I enter, she comes to me. And the, the tortoise was donated to me as a present. I looked at it as an ugly creature and when she put her neck out, I felt it was a snake neck, ugly looking, yes. <laughs> How to sometime when she started following me, I'm the one who was feeding and slowly she put the neck out, I started tickling her neck. She giving her neck a little more longer for me. We became so friendly, I felt she was the most beautiful thing I ever had in my life. It's a love. When you melt with, they say love is blind. Because people say love is blind because they look at the beauty of the external things. Yes. If you have a family, you will understand it was not a struggle. Every one moment of a whack from a grandmother, grandfather, a pinch from an uncle and auntie, a squeeze. My youngest sister, Naina, that uncle used to one, two, three, she throw her up and get, and as she comes and she'll giggle. <laughs> I still remember. <laughs> so much uncles and aunties around the houses. And the love was so much when the family and the joint family and the family tree is there. Then it is the most beautiful from, from your childhood. You knew what is swimming because you jumped into the pond, into the rivers and lakes. You'll never feel something out of your eyes, out of you, your vision. When Jennifer came over, she said, Oh my God, I couldn't feel such huge cows in our ashram. In a giant family, big or small. Yes, every day was beautiful and at the end of the time, you hardly have time to turn back to look because <laughs> the push and pull was so much. Hence, there was a mass hypnotism of practice. The strongest or the weakest, you know, and everybody together, bomb to bomb, and they start with boom, boom, you throw your punches, your kicks. You move together. Yes, move together was the strength. Move together. And in that you find more beautiful. Go back to your house. Go back to your family. Don't think whether they say this or that. Don't complain. And don't explain. explain. If you have this too, don't complain and don't explain. You will love the family. Join fam family tree. If you have these three things, heaven and the earth, man in the center, these three murtis, the whole world is under your control. Whole world is you and you are beautiful. <laughs> when you are beautiful, people see the most beautiful truth, the goddess. <laughs>